What's up, amigas and amigos? Day five in the books. We did it. It was not easy. It was pretty difficult, but I'm here. I'm feeling better. <clears throat> yeah, let's get into it. What happened today? Last night, oh, I realized today when I, you know, transitioned out of it, how emotional I was. And yeah, I woke up with a pretty bad headache, but you know, pushed through it, started feeling a little bit better, felt way better than yesterday, so that was good. But yeah, today was, was really hard. And I catch myself, today I was filled with a lot of doubt. Just like, what am I doing? <laughs> like, what the F? Have I been consuming? Like, who is this Facebook group that I'm being a part of? Like, what? where's the scientific proof for this stuff? Am I feeling better? Why am I doing this? Just all these doubts. And I kind of enjoy it. Like, it's a good challenge. I feel like I haven't been really pushed to my edge in a while. And I guess I say I enjoy it now. In the moment, it kind of sucks a little bit. But I don't know, like... There's just zero part of me that wants to give up. Like, yeah, there's doubts coming up, but deep down I'm just like, I'm going to do this, you know? So so that's exciting. But at the same time, it, uh, it hurts, you know? And it creates this game in the mind. And, yeah, just super emotional. Today I was super nauseous and hungry at the same time. And I've never felt both of those feelings at the same time I was like super hungry and I felt like cravings for all these food but then when I took the pudding and I was like all right let's eat it I looked down I was like oh I'm so nauseous and then I ate it anyways but it was just yeah maybe I'm like transcending duality it's like you know nauseous hungry are kind of on the same spectrum and I'm just like phew, opening up to all of that so, um, yeah, that was one interesting note. I got a massage today, which felt amazing. And I just felt like I was very sensitive. And I don't know, I also felt like it was a great like meditation. Um, I got a massage from Pinu. Um, she's, she's wonderful and amazing. And I, I called and requested for her. And yeah, just like felt in my body as she was massaging each part, just try to like meditate into it. And I had like a loopy dream during that like it kind of felt lucid but I didn't realize that I fell asleep until like an hour later I was like oh that was a dream because I don't know it felt real but I also don't remember it so it's just like yeah weird weird stuff is happening like this motion <laughs> that I'm doing and yeah a lot of doubt emotions and we went to dinner at my friend's house and um, my brother's team was, was all there and one of his employees, Anna, is from Ukraine and she cooked this beautiful Ukrainian dish with like, what is it called, borj, which is like this, this soup and then there's like peppers with meat and crepes and it just smelled so good and just to sit there and like watch all these cravings come up and just to like smell the food, look at the food, watch everyone be so excited before the meal, like, Oh my gosh! Oh, let, let's eat, let's eat, and then the the crepes weren't done in time. So then everyone kind of decided like, hey, we we're we're hungry. Like let's let's eat and then make the crepes later. And so it was just like very interesting to observe that, but then also notice the energy change when they're super excited, super excited, and then after that first bite, I I don't want to project, but I felt like. They lost excitement about the food and it was more about the conversations and the food was kind of like second and it kind of challenges me because I'd like to think that why can't I be just as excited about bite number two, three, four, five as bite number one instead of like, oh, I'm excited because I'm hungry and I have this feeling in my body and then eat it and then it's like, okay, food and then we're talking about something. So. I don't know, maybe I'm just projecting this because I was like, yeah, maybe they're hungry and they're enjoying it now, but, you know, I'm going to show them and <laughs> they're not going to feel as good later and, like, just, just this ego coming through. But that was very challenging and interesting 
and we left a little bit early. June and I we were just like sitting on the couch and they were eating and it was a little bit awkward, but eh, less awkward, just like very teasing. It was it's just a big tease and I was ready for it. I was like, all right, this is gonna smell really good. And then June kept looking at me like, oh, like we let's go eat this. So just like talking about food and I was just like trying to focus on my breath and just be like, okay, this will not help me. Um, that's kind of been the main thing I've been telling myself when I have some cravings. Like I've been craving like pizza. I don't even eat pizza. <laughs> I've just been telling myself like that's not gonna make me feel better, and just like committing to to doing this. I was doing a little meditation. And I kind of asked my intuition like, all right, at what point should I like start questioning continuing? And I got like 14, 15 days. So I'm I'm devoted, or at least I feel that now. Maybe it'll change to do 14, 15 days of this and really feel feel the benefits. Because honestly, I mean, I feel pretty good right now. I feel like I always feel better when I make videos. What could that imply? Hmm. <laughs> so I, I do feel a lot better now, but overall the last five days, I don't really feel, feel much benefit. So I'm just kind of curious, like at what point will I start to be like, holy shit, this is working. Um, the enemas still feel amazing and oh another achievement of the day no more diarrhea yay like isn't it great when you can just celebrate no diarrhea because yesterday I had a lot of it and I was not celebrating <laughs> so big achievement feeling much better but still like definitely in this funk of like weird physical and emotional things going on and yeah, no, I guess I guess I like it. It's 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 exciting. It's new. It's challenging. It's definitely forcing myself to like dig deep and figure out like why am I doing this? Because every time I have this thought come up, it's like, all right, let's go eat some papaya, or we want to get a tea because we're tired and a coffee. And I'm just like, all right, well, why? Like, what's that going to lead to? And then I just remind myself that that's just like a band aid. It's not gonna make me feel better in a long term situation and whatever symptom I'm experiencing isn't going to be solved by that that's kind of like the biggest thing that keeps me just like all right what should I do like what's the next best action because it's definitely not eating pizza <laughs> but it's interesting to watch that emerge out of me it's like oh I'm five days into this fast and we're tired so the solution is pizza and coffee and that, that's just silly. So, yeah, I'm feeling feeling pretty good right now. But to be honest, I'm really tired. Like, super, 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 super tired and just exhausted. Yeah, I feel like my body's going through a lot. But um, just one more thing, and then, then I'll let you go <laughs> to uh, another YouTube video, whatever you're watching. But I met up with uh, the, the COO of Buteco, the Buteco Method. She's in Chiang Mai, and we've been talking. I took the course... Uh, six months ago 2017 and then I did follow-up sessions with Vladimir and so I met up with her and her name is Martha it was just really cool to, to meet with her and talk about the Buteco method and how powerful it is and how it you know saves these people's lives and all these things so that was uh that was that was cool but I did feel a little reluctant to mention the master fast because even though both of them align in a lot of ways I just feel like they're not you know the same system and yeah, she was like drinking coffee and definitely different different lifestyles and that that's okay, but just wanted to mention that because I had my high score for my control pause um, and it was like a minute and 36 seconds and when I started my maximum, sorry, not my control pause, my maximum pause, 136. When I started my max pause was like 30 or 40, so that's just great improvement and yeah, I feel like if I can just keep doing Buteco, keep doing Master Fast, like I'm gonna feel better. I'm just, yeah, I guess I'm just really curious, like when do the benefits start pouring in? Like a week, two weeks? Um, the enemas are coming out, but it seems like it's just regular stool. And actually I'm curious, like how, how is my stool looking thick? I think it's from the, the pudding, I'm sure, because I'm drinking grape juice and it's super purple, but a lot of people talk about like, oh, worms come out or all this green mucus is coming through the enemas, but I haven't seen any of that. And a part of me wants to compare myself to other people and be like, oh, it's not working for me or different systems or, oh, I'm already clean. There's nothing else to come out. But 
I'm just pushing all that aside. Just going to stick with it, keep on keeping on. And, yeah, day five in the books. Day five, I'm still alive. I had a lot of emotions and I had a lot of doubt, but I let it come up and I let it out. See you guys for day six tomorrow. Con mucho amor. Grazie. And good night. Fun league. Happy.